I'm gonna go in with spritz now and I'm gonna spray that and just tie it down to let my edges set. Um, I kind of just brushed it to make sure it was super smooth and I'm gonna take these styling strips and I'm gonna tie them around just to hold my edges while I do the actual ponytail part. And so my natural hair that was left out, I actually braided it and secured it with a rubber band. And then I'm taking another styling strip and I'm going to wrap that around the braid. And the reason why is because I'm going to be gluing on the bundles. It's just so much easier than sewing it for me. And so you put the styling strip on and you secure that with rubber bands. And for this ponytail, I use three. And I'm going to be using the same bundles that I received from Long Key Hair, guys. I've had these for a month and they are still rocking and popping, still curly. And so I just washed and conditioned it. And I'm going to use this for my ponytail. And it will be a lot thicker than this. Like right now, it's damp. So the, pony, the bundle does look thin, but um, the ponytail will be super nice and full. To glue this on, I'm going to be using my 30 second super bond hair glue. And guys, this is where I fucked up. So this is how I usually do it when I'm working on a client. I just basically put the glue directly onto the styling strip and kind of rub it all the way down. That way I don't have to do it as I'm going. Because um, normally, like, basically you would put the glue on the weft of the track. But y'all, like, I couldn't see what I was doing. And it was in that moment that I was like, okay, like, that was a fail. But... You know, I kept rocking with it and um, basically I was just wrapping the weft around the braid. And this is why it's so much easier because the glue is already there. So all you have to do is wrap, but it also doesn't work if you can't really see what you're doing. And so it was just a hot ass mess. And this is why I said it was a fail, not because like the finished product turned out bad because it really didn't. But just the process was like, I'm never doing it like this again so hopefully you guys can peep this and learn from my mistakes and yeah so i decided to like stand up just because the bundles kept getting tangled and wrap it around and obviously like well i've done this on myself before for a high ponytail it's a little different with a low ponytail because a high ponytail i can see more um but this was just like oh oh no <laughs> So I know this is like a little hard to see what I'm doing, but basically all I'm doing is taking that bundle and wrapping it around and the glue is already on the braid. So it is going to hold and it is natural for your bundle to tangle a little bit as you're wrapping it. So I'm just running my fingers through just to make sure I get out all those like kinks and tangles. And I'm going to literally do this all the way until I get to the top of my head. So y'all, I was almost at the top. I decided to like rub some on, some more on there and like do it again. And then as I was wrapping, like, I don't know how I got off, but like I skipped a whole section, which I didn't even realize until it was right there. You see how I skipped that whole section? So I didn't even realize until my hair was done and I did go back and fix it, but I was just like, oh, like, oh my God. <laughs> like what was happening? All night, baby, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to Okay, so the last thing for the ponytail, you want to wrap a piece from underneath around just to cover up that top track and the hair tie. And so I put a bunch of spritz on there because obviously you want it to like hold without you having to like rubber band it or anything. And I'm kind of just wrapping it around the top section. When you get to like the last piece, you want to spray like some extra spritz on it just to make sure you help keep it down. And um, it wasn't covering all the way, so I just decided to put another piece in. That's totally fine. You just want to make sure whatever piece you put on top, it's nice and flat and laid down with, like, no bumps or anything in it. Love, 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 love. So, yeah, y'all, this is the finished ponytail. I decided to, like, jazz up that middle braid a little bit just to, like, make it look a little better and not super plain and boring. And I am showing you guys the curly ponytail here, but I am going to straighten it at the end of this video just because... It was my birthday and I was like, I'm about to do the most and I wanted it to be super sleek. I actually liked it better curly, but once I straightened it, it was like damn near time to go. So I was like, oh, well, <laughs> you're staying straight. So in these last couple of clips here, I am going to show you how I straightened the hair and um, I did like a couple passes on it, but I tried not to do too many just because I wanted the curls to come back after I washed it again. And um, this hair didn't get like bone straight. It was more of a natural straight with like a slight wave to it. And I went over it like 
actually ended up going over it more than two times because I wanted to try to get it even more sleek than what it was. Um, so if you are someone who likes like a bone, bone straight hair, then this is definitely not, not going to do that for you. And, um, as the night progressed, it did get like a little more of a wavy texture to it. So yeah. When you know you got a woman, why you hit me when you know you know better? This is the finished look. Even in this ponytail here, you can kind of see like the waves that I was talking about.